all welcome to uncommon gigs myself fasant i hope you all doing well so today's topic is continuation of our previous video on closures so in the previous videos as you already know we have discussed basics of closure in a function the classic counter dilemma with a, and how to solve it with the help of a closure and this video we'll be discussing some more questions on closure maybe this video and also one more video i'll be making this video let us say we'll be discussing uh, some easy questions on closure and next video we'll be discussing some advanced questions on closures okay my only request is if you have not seen my previous videos on closures i'll be linking that or somewhere on the screen also in the description please go ahead and watch it so that you you know the concept of closure then answering these questions will be very straightforward for you okay without wasting further time let's get started the question number 1 very straightforward question okay if you have, if you have seen my previous videos you'll be definitely able to answer but it is slightly a tricky one not with respect to answer but with respect to a topic so for those of you who know the answer to this question mention question number 1 in comment section and put your answer if you are not sure then let me just give a quick walk through of the question so we have created a function called init in line number 2 and in line number 3 we have created a variable name and uh, initialize this to uncommon gig this is my channel name and uh, in line number 4 we have created line number 4 to 6 we have created a function which locks the name line number 7 basically we are returning the function uh, this one oh, sorry we are calling the function display name so whenever you call the init a variable with a name name is initialized and uh, inside that uh, there is an inner function which is getting triggered okay so the what my question is what the value of log here to be very precise the value of name which is declared outside is accessible inside this or not So if you know the answer at least now please mention that in comment section if not let me execute it and show the answer for you The answer is uncommon gigs so line number 5 whatever you are printing is the uh, this string is getting printed so inside the function the variable declared outside is able uh, the the function which is display name which is an inner function is able to access the variable name which is declared outside of it okay so just hold your thought if you getting anything about this question i'll i'll show you another similar question then let us come back to this okay so this is question number 2 these two questions are very similar so i'll just show you once again you only identify the difference what is the difference between the two okay i won't say right away this is quick job for you to check what is the difference so if you know the answer to this question also take a just mention question number 2 in comment section and put your answer if not again let me give a quick walk through of the question question so line number 2 we have a function called uh, make function and from line number 25 we are triggering that function okay and inside which we have a variable called name same same as above and this display name is same as above line number line number 28 we, we are returning this display name which is due to which in line number 26 we are invoking it okay if you know the output tell again at least now mention that in comment section other results it is the same um, i mean i can execute and show it to you but a precise question is the variable name which is declared in line number 19 is able to is a function display name can access it or not that's the question okay let me execute it for you so we getting uncommon gigs so both the program uh, both the question question number 1 and question number 2 the output is uncommon gigs itself i mean basically whatever was declared in line number 19 can be accessed inside both the functions both the questions so then uh, where is the difference some of you might have already figured it out for those of you who are still not identified see here we have a return statement here there is no return statement so from the outer function you are triggering the inner inner function but here from the outer function you are returning the inner function which here you are triggering so make fun my function basically has a reference of display name which is getting triggered in line number 26 so this is the difference so what one is returning so depending on returning there is another difference so this is actually not a closure to very important to observe this is a lexical scope okay there's a concept of lexical scope in javascript due to which whenever the display name is triggered from the inner function it is able to access the name and line number question number 2 this is a closure where you are returning a function from a function and that function is access to the variable declared in the outer function this is a closure so wasn't what is the difference between lexical scope and the closure see i have a very quite limited time in my videos where i this series is mainly dedicated for interview preparation so i'll not be able to explain that in depth so this is the official url of developer.mozilla.org where closures are explained the first topic itself is lexical scoping i'll link this url in the description section of this video please go ahead and read it where they very clearly explain what is lexical scoping and what is the closure difference between them and how closure uses the lexical scoping all those things are very clearly explained here the intention of me picking this question is 
you should not miss this in interview stating whenever there is a function inside a function everything is a closure nothing like that so there is a difference between function and um, closure and the lexical scoping i want you to know that that is the reason i pick these two questions okay let me quickly go to question number 3 So question number three is again a very straightforward question. If you have seen my previous videos, you will be able to answer it uh, very easily. So if you know the answer, again, if you know the answer, mention question number three in comment section and put your answer. If not, let me just give a quick walk through of question. So basically, we have a function called make adder, which is defined in line number thirty three. So it takes an argument, okay, and uh, whenever it takes an argument, it it returns a function. And that function is getting invoked in line number forty uh, for add five, add ten. Also, the same thing happening in uh, line number forty-one. Okay, question here remains the same. Um, basically, whenever here, in, whenever you whenever you invoke add five and pass two, obviously that will be accessible here. But whenever that is happening, the x which is defined outside is accessible inside or not? That is the question. Okay, so if if you can solve that small piece, you'll be definitely able to answer this entire question. So if you know the answer, at least now put that in comment section. If not, let me execute the question for you. So we are getting seven and twelve. Let me give a code walkthrough for you. What is happening? Okay, or how we'll do a dry run. So here, in case of make adder phi, you are passing phi. So x becomes phi here. Okay, and it returning this entire function, which is getting as into add phi. Add phi basically points to this function. Okay, now whenever you invoke add phi and pass two, so in this case y becomes two. So and this inside this function block x is already known due to the property of closure. So this outer function is returning an inner function. So all the properties of our outer function are available inside the inner function. So due to which now this uh, inner function knows the value of x. Inner function knows the value of y. So five plus two becomes seven. Same way, if you pass ten and two, it will become twelve. That's it about this this particular question. Thank you so much for watching. If you would have liked my video, please do like it on my YouTube channel. If you want your friends also to get benefited, please do share the videos with them. Do not forget to subscribe to Uncommon Geeks. Please subscribe to Uncommon Geeks, and I will be linking my GitHub URL where all these questions are being added, so you can uh, download that project and practice on your own. I've also linked my Medium blog in the description where I've written articles on various different JavaScript topics. You can go ahead and read that as well. Okay, thank you, thank you so much again for watching the video. Catch you in my next video.